The Devil's Den used to be part of Jollyland, but years ago, the previous queen... Previous queen? Wait. What was her name? Was it Queen Dita? No, of course not. Uh, I meant King. King Chamberlain got rid of the Devil's Den because of its new regulations. But now Candy Cane Road doesn't even lead there anymore. So I ended up inheriting it right away. Smart move. So Queen Chamberlain and Santa Claus banished me. And don't worry. We'll get our vengeance. Once I learned that they'd shunned you away, I knew that I had to unleash you and pair up. Twenty-five years down the drain. Seems like my brother is more like Satan than Santa to me. I lost my purpose. Forgot who I was. What took you so long? Better late than ever, huh? Well, we're here. Hans Trapp? Who's Hans Trapp? The most evil Christmas demon of them all. Once upon a time, Hans was a greedy man who wanted to take charge of the Christmas celebrations so he could collect all the revenues. His real name was Hans von Trotha. In 1480, the elector enfiefed him with the two castle of Bewerdstein and Grafenden, which lay in the South Palatine part of the Wasega region within the Palatine Forest. Hans von Trotha was a knight who lived from 1450 to 1503 and served for the German princes Perchten. However, Hans was caught by Perchten for stealing money from the revenues from the Christmas celebrations intended for the Catholic Church. And because of his crimes, Perchton ordered him to be hanged. Find him and kill him. But he evaded his trial and would stop at nothing to become the richest man in the German states. He ended up selling his soul to the devil. Some demons transformed him into a beloved popular Christmas character, which gave him the power to aid St. Nicholas right by his side, using deception only the devil can use to charm everyone. And he grew rich, very rich, but it didn't last long. St. Nick parted ways with him not long after he witnessed Hans's true character when he caught him trying to devour a small boy. He was horrified and reported Hans's evil ways to the church so that they could pray for God to step in. He was supposed to be sent away forever. Well, th thanks ladies for the history lesson, but I just need to know, is he worse than Krampus? Huh, much worse. Krampen is half mortal, half demon. Hans Trope is only a demon, a full demon. Only evilness drives his soul. He'll prey on anyone, but he'll especially prey on the children and teens because their judgment isn't fully developed yet and they're easy to prey on. And he's a shapeshifter. In his most frightening disguise, he transforms as a scarecrow to scare off little kids. But worst of all, he doesn't care if the kids are good or bad. He takes them anyway. So if he's bad, how are we going to get rid of him? Time's up, asshole. Go! It's green! Oh, damn traffic. I'm too young to be feeling this old. Go! I hope that Margie's going to be okay. I, I feel, feel so, so bad. bad. Me, Me too. too. <laughs> Jinx! <laughs> I'll send him a message on Facebook. By the time he gets home, he should be able to see it. I don't think he's going to be home. Benjamin will give him a ride. Whoops! Was that a stop sign? I swear, all that I see is red. Kinda like when Kurt Cobain died. Kurt who? Ugh, never mind. And to think it smelled like teen spirit in here? Well, here we are! Ooh, free parking. This parking spot is for employees only. I work for the mayor. Ah, what shit? Whoa, she drives worse than Marlene. Oh, who cares? Winterfest. Well, 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 we have finally arrived. Mayor Washburn, watch out. I'm coming for you. Finally, will it be our final destination? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Too soon. Ah. And without further ado, ladies, 
I'll meet you wherever there may be cotton candy, fruit roll-ups, and 80s aesthetics. Okay, so like, we'll meet you at home. We're going to get a lift. How are you going to lift anything? You young ladies must be strong, huh? Well, have a good night. Just make sure you get home by 8. But first, ah, my perfume. New car interior. Smell it. Isn't it nice? Take notes, ladies. This attracts all the men, teenagers. Ha! You won't be seeing me for a while. See you later. And lock the doors when you leave. See you later. Here we are. It's a castle. Where's Lucifer? He's not here. It's just named after him. So the Devil's Den is in hell, is it? Shocking. Where else would it be? It used to be part of Jollyland, but when Queen Chamberlain took over, she made Pilius 300, which... Wait. Now that... That sounds familiar. It should. It's your brother's hat. It sent you away. He sent me away with his hat. Pilius 300 is the most powerful hat in the entire universe. She made it to give it to Santa Claus to betray you. Santa Claus betrayed me. Purposefully? It gave him the power to perish you away. He wanted all the fame. All the attention, Christmas all to himself, no matter the cost. And bad kids around the world never learn their lesson either. I see that most of them turned 18 years old and never changed. They just stopped believing. They lost their magic. Their belief. Their youth. And now we have to work even harder to teach these kids a lesson because of this fucking queen. Oh, she stole their chance to change. Because of her, we have another street to sweep. Mark and Gracie aren't the only ones left. Are we kidding me? Two blocks down from Robert Street, there's Elm Street. Seven other whippersnappers who need to be taken away immediately. I'm gonna kill that bitch. This is all her fault. Queen Chamberlain isn't the only villain, though. Not by far. Do you remember this? What is this? Is this my lair? Your home. Well, it used to be before you were broken and alone. I came to rescue you, you see. Your memories have been buried deep by the trauma of it all. This place looks... it looks so familiar. This is not only the place where Santa sent you away, but also, you see, this is where he tried to kill you. Santa tried to kill... me? Your call has been forwarded. Voicemail. Again. Damn it. Veronica is still not picking up. Why even bother leaving a message? Who even invented that anyways? No one ever checks it. Oh, God. Come on, honey. Ugh. Pick up. Please answer the phone. Fucking A. She's not answering my text either. I'm sure everything's okay. We're almost there. Wanna listen to the radio? Just... Play whatever. It's fine. She's not going to answer. Text her again. Police in Detroit, Michigan said that they have found... (gasps) Oh my god! That's the car that killed Marlene's husband. They finally identified the car. Well, it sure took them long enough. The swans must be devastated. I don't know what I would do if I were to ever lose Veronica. Well, here we are. Want me to wait right here? Sure. I'll be right back. What? Do you see something up my nose? I'm still coming down from a respiratory infection, you know. No, it's that right over there. Look, 
Darlene, my screen door is wide open. It might have just been the wind. We've had a lot of storms today. Yeah, you're probably right. The front door still seems to be locked. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? <laughs> no offense, but I'm staying right here. Too much shady crap has been going on lately. Oh, fine. I should have made that EMT guy come with me instead. That's what she said. We're gonna die, aren't we? Everything's gonna be fine. It's not like we had much of a choice. Oh, look. There's Hardy Road. See? We're almost home. Oh, thank God. Now I just have to find my one. It must be somewhere on this bus. Check under the seats. Maybe it fell down there. Hey! You wanna smack? Now, I've told you a thousand times to sit the f*** down! No one better mess with me today. I'm not playing. Principal Carter told me to watch my language. I'm only doing this out of the kindness of my heart. I don't need to be mad driving this bus. And right now, right now, I'm mad. You know, I really hope that this is the last day that I have to drive these kids around. They all must have been born on a highway. Because that's where most accidents happen. Yeah, he worse than Gaston. He was perfectly fine in math class. Only because Miss Zink was there. Just hold tight. It's better than walking home. Red light! Oh! It's a red light! But he drives like a race car driver. Hold on. We're almost home. Unless he makes a long turn. It's fine. In your own words, you gotta have hope. Just give him my AirPods. I have an education now. Not that you have to have an education to be a bus driver. Bus drivers are our daily heroes. Unappreciated, underpaid, and annoyed like me. It's time for me to get a new job, though. I want to be a teacher. What will he teach? Definitely not driver's ed. Ouch! Ah! Damn it! Who threw that? You know what? That's it! It's time that you kids learn a damn lesson! Your family tree must be a cactus because everybody fucking on it is a prick! Now I promised Principal Carter that I wouldn't drop you guys off at the Heritage Park, but maybe I should. God have mercy on me. Maybe y'all can all get lost at the pine. Where? Yeah. What do you boys and girls think? Who wants to go to Winterfest? Ha yeah. yeah. <laughs> ha, perfect. Shit's about to get real, kids. We'll see exactly who the loser is now. We're taking a detour. Oh, oh no. no. Where is he taking us? This was a big mistake. Did you find your magic wand anywhere? No. I must have left it at school. How are we going to use our magic now? Idiots. This is Jolly Land. What did you expect? A happy ending? More like a nightmare. Or at least an adventure. Um, three more vanilla milkshakes, please. But I'll admit, the free food here is pretty sweet, though. Even though I really don't like false prevarication on returning home. Shh, Hunter! Where do you learn these big words? The gnomes didn't want us to leave either. They need to leave me the hell a gnome. I've read about Jolly Lamb before. Prince Abel is not telling us the whole truth. He's been keeping us out of the loop with Queen Chamberlain, and it's so strange. He's kind of sus. He's definitely an imposter. I bet he was Skechers. He seemed kind of scared. Something's off. Did you scare him away? Jason? Look, Courtney, I'm not a bully, okay? At least, not anymore. I learned my lesson. That's why we're here, right? Krimpus said that we need to learn a lesson. 
Oh God, have mercy on me. Didn't you just get here like an hour and a half ago? We don't need to see the queen or follow this candy cane road that you keep talking about. I've got the best idea on how to get us home. How? Are we going to go ask backwards to the pine trees? I'm not doing what Betty or Paul did to try to escape. Are you escape of the dark? <laughs> You're out of your mind. And I'm not talking about going back to the evergreen forest either. I don't really appreciate your tone. So, what's your genius idea, Jason? Well... A scarecrow. A scarecrow. He was with that other demon or monster. I was alone in Principal Carter's office when they snatched me up. This is a nightmare. Let me guess. He's got another one. Yep. It's like clockwork. Things are starting to make sense. It's like when I couldn't figure out how to fasten my seatbelt and then it clicked. And if this continues, then mom will surely find out sooner than later. Oh boy. My worst fears are coming true. I wonder who it is this time. Watch it be another Jane. First it's Jason, then John. Who's next? It better be Gracie or I'm going to be so mad. Watch out. She's breaking back. At least I'm not pulling any more fire alarms. I already learned my lesson. What do you mean, your worst fears? I'll tell you later. Tell me now. Are we going to die? Now is not the time. I must go. Who's Gracie? Grace Swan. Isn't she, like, famous? She has, like, a quarter million followers. Ha! Not that famous, but she did destroy my reputation. Your reputation is already destroyed. But out of this doofus, where's Jason anyways? I'm getting hungry. He's here in Gnome's Village. Over there in Dainty Cafe. Marky, get back here, Marky. Oh, there you are. Get away from me. You're running so fast. You must have got that from your brother. Why did it hit me like that? Did my words cut that damn deep? Ouch! Ow! My knee! <laughs> Let's get my mom's first aid kit. Is it bleeding a lot? Just a little. Get up, get up! Oh, uh, I feel dizzy. We have the first aid kit in our trunk. Oh, oh my god. So you are the one who has the Legend of Krampus book? It's not about Krampus. Yes, it is. I just saw it. It's none of your damn business. You are the one who checked out this book? Katie has been looking for that book everywhere. This book belongs to me. Buzz off. I'll be fine all by myself. You know what? Fine. You even make Happy Meals cry. I checked my receipt. I didn't buy any of your bullshit. Don't be ashamed of who you are. That's your parents' job. Now, you're bullying me. I'm not bullying you. Let me see that book, man. I'll never forget the first time we met, but I'll keep trying. Good luck finding your brothers, you asshole. You can just walk where you are going with a fucked up knee. Winterfest is just like a 10 minute walk. Have fun, Brad. And make sure you give that book back to the library. I want to borrow it next. It belongs to the school. Hey, Benny. How was school? It was fine. Want a cup? Yes, I will take one. I'm so thirsty. Is that Marky? Does he need a ride? His mom texted me today. It seemed like an emergency. Isn't he spending the night? Hey, Marky. Oh, no, that's not Marky. I don't know who that is. Oh, just me. Ready? Benjamin! Wait. Mom, stop the car. Ah. Stop. You stand with that to me. If you give me a ride to Heritage Park so that I can go to Winterfest to find my brother, then I'll let you borrow this book, okay? Today? Today. Okay, D. That's all you had to say, bro. Look, we got the first aid kit right here. Isn't that right, Mama? Heritage Park? The Pine? Your stand be dead. Down Party Road? Winterfest. 
Ay, Dios mío. But traffic. Oh, mi querido hijo. It's a winter break. We'll get an Uber home. Ah, get in. Thanks for letting me borrow this book, Marky. You're welcome. I am sure you have already read it all anyway. Santa Claus tried to kill me, my own brother. I can't believe it. Believe it. This can't be true. I'm completely blindsided, outraged, betrayed. Why? Our ancestors would be so very ashamed. Krampus, listen. We have no more time to waste. Since Marky isn't alone yet, we'll have to go get these other kids on Elm Street. Like I said, there's quite a few. Seven to be exact. Oh, damn it all to hell. I'm so angry. More work. I'm so pissed. It's okay. Take your anger out on them. Save it for now. You'll need it later. Tis the season to be afraid. To be very afraid. But this time, I'll show them no mercy. They'll scream my name in terror. And I will teach them a lesson. Come on, let's teleport. We'll come back here later to the Devil's Den to try to find Queen Chamberlain and end her reign once and for all. What? But... Do we really have to leave? We're so close already, and I want to get to her now. No, not yet. Timing is everything. She hasn't gotten the signal yet. A few more kids should do the trick. Soon there'll be so many kids they won't be able to hide. Whatever you say, I just want to be free. And for the world to know that I'm alive. Let's get this over with. That was fast. Shall we give them a warning? No. No more warnings. I've sent enough already. They don't work anyways. Perfect. (laughs) That's fine by me. It defeats the purpose. Everyone loves a surprise, don't they, don't they? The surprise to me is to see if they've changed. They never change. Just like my brother, Santa Claus. But, oh well, who cares about redemption anyway? Who's next on the list? I'm ready for a rampage. But it's mid-afternoon. Who cares? Who's on the fucking list? Jeez. It's December 5th, isn't it? All right, fine, okay. Let me see. There's Cameron, Delilah, Melody, Veronica, Benjamin, Sebastian, and... Amanda. After we take them away, we can get Santa and the Queen. Does that sound good? Sounds devious. <laughs> Santa and Queen Chamberlain. Watch out. I'm coming for you next. The itsy bitsy monster came flying down the house, then turned into a big monster. So if he's a rat, then surely you're just a mouse. Students, hold on. It's been a crazy day. Coach Barry, you're going too fast. Oh, God have mercy. No, God have mercy on me. I'm the one who has to put up with your ass. I told you I'm not a taxi. Hey, is that... Wait for me. She's running up to the van. Stop! I need a ride. Ugh, first you told me to put the pedal to the metal. Now you want me to stop? Slow the fuck down. Is that Katie Barrymore? Well, how am I supposed to know? Stop the damn car! Am I crashing the party? Yeah, you are. Just get in. Don't mind him. He's being grumpy. You almost missed us, you know. We're kind of in a hurry, but this shouldn't take too long. So sorry for the inconvenience. I would have driven with my mom, but she is so tired of driving me around. Now, where were we? I hope that you've all learned a lot this semester. I know that the things you may see on the news can be quite scary, but there's no need to be afraid. I'm not scared. I eat people like you for breakfast. Excuse me? 
I need silence, please. Silence is golden. Duct tape is silver. I see the end of the world as we know it. Everything is fine. I will be quiet. Coach Bear, now is not the time. We need to hurry up. I have something to tell you. I don't know if you know this, Principal Carter, but I have a master's in wasting time and a minor in looking busy. I want to grow up to be like Coach Bear. I would have loved to have a dad like him growing up. Oh my god. I am so high. Hold on, kids. This is going to be a bumpy ride. Life is all about having courage. Ouch. Jeez, can't you see I'm trying to drive? Let me take over then. Pull over. You're driving like a maniac. And these are our teachers. My mind is turning into putty. Trade me seats. I can't. Stop the car. Jeez, fine. Are we almost there? I live right over there. On Robert Street. On Robert Street. On Robert Street. La Bafana, how are we going to get rid of them both? Both Hans and Krampus. And please do not say Parish Mint 321. Now that you have some strength and courage, you'll need some wisdom. And, my dear, that'll only come from me. <laughs> This is not funny. I'm so upset. We need to end this. Kids are being taken away. They are probably the ones who took Justin away. He took him away, didn't he? I'm only presuming. That bastard. And what happened to Justin's necklace? Why can't we communicate with him? I'm gonna only ask this one last time. How do we banish them? Well, magic alone won't do the trick. Usually demons fight other demons. It's in their DNA. All you have to do is stir the pot. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Pit one against the other. For them, it's all about power and control. Demons are always plotting to fight. Because many times, they're looking to advance their position in hell. Power is the greatest thing to a demon. And they will fight anything perform any trickery so that they can gain more power for themselves or to protect whatever they want to have. In this case, it must be Jollyland. Oh, get to the point already, La Bafana. I already know what you're about to say anyways. We have to use Perishment 321, huh? Or send one of our kids? Are you crazy? There's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. I've told you our two options. I'm surprised to see Hans trope back. We really need to let Queen Chamberlain know. Think about it. You'll have a tough decision to make, but we don't have the luxury to wait all day. For all we know, your kids, Melody and Sebastian, may be next. What street did you move to? Well, we just moved here, but this is Elm Street. Once Betty gets back, our plan will be set in motion. What are we going to do? You don't have to do anything. I've had an opponent like this before. He's got a Napoleon complex. Who? If Krampus doesn't teach us a lesson, then I will. Are you talking about Bull? Prince Abel, he must know something. Once he comes back, I'm going to force him to tell us the truth. Wait, what was that? Is that him? I'm not gonna let you do this. I bet that's Betty. I can hear her mouth from a mile away. I don't want to be part of this either. You're crazy. Fine, stay here. But if we see that scarecrow again, I'll make sure that he eats you first. You'll be the first one on his plate. What's the point of fighting? One of you will get hurt. Especially you. That's exactly my point. Did this scarecrow try to take you away too? 
So you're not going to answer? Well, do you go to Randall Elementary? Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Prince Sable. I'm the Prince of Jollyland. You're a prince? Uh huh. Well, my name is Jonathan Serrano, but I'm not a prince at all. That's so cool. That's Paul's brother. Paul's brother? Wow. It must be nice having a brother. Oh, dang it. I gotta go. But I promise I'll be back. That's my mom with her bell. Dinner's ready. It was nice to finally meet you. It was nice to meet you too. Stay jolly, and whatever you do, do not talk to Titus. Marky's the only one left. Marky's the only one left? What do you mean? <laughs> Welcome to Elm Street. Here's to us. Cheers! Ah, ah no more warnings. I'm going to love this, and I don't even have a heart. I smell fear. Cameron must be near. He doesn't have a chimney. Should we just go through the front door? (laughs) Or we could do that. Your real nightmare on Elm Street has come to life. Get him. You're coming with me. Put him in your sack. This is real terror. He's in. Terror's the least I can do. Let's go get Delilah. Phew. It's chilly out today. I'm not used to this weather anymore. Time to heat it up. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Classic under the bed scare. Precisely. Shh. She's there. Do you hear that? The silence of the lamb. This time, we'll light her fucking bed on fire. Get her. Hey there, Delilah. Wanna know what it's like in Jollyland? It's time for you to learn a lesson. Get in there. You're doing amazing, Krampus. This is going to be the most amazing December 5th ever. Who needs warnings anymore? If they were on the list, then they are on the list. No need to even check it twice. We're on a roll. I'm gonna scare the living daylights out of whoever is next. Veronica Blair. Veronica! Veronica! Are you here? Mommy's home. I heard they ended school early today. Where are you? We just won some money. Everything's gonna be okay. We can keep our home now. Wanna go with me and Darlene to buy some Christmas lights? We also gotta go bail out Cindy. Hello? Veronica? Hmm, that's weird. I thought she would be home by now. Was she there? No, but her backpack is there. She must have returned from school, but she's gone. Fuck, what should I do? She's still not answering or texting back. Maybe she's at the park. She's probably riding with Gracie to Winterfest right now as we speak. Are you saying she might be with that troublemaker Gracie Swan? I knew that girl was a bad influence. Will she ever learn her lesson? Only God can save the sinner. Veronica better not be with her. Call her again and again? Call her until her phone dies. Let's just hurry up and come right back. We can do this real quick, right? I'm getting worried about Veronica. We need to stop by her school. Ugh, Frig, I have to pee. Go use my bathroom. Hurry. Girl, here are my keys. You know where it is. Fine. There's a bathroom downstairs, right? That one's broken. You'll have to use the one upstairs. This whole day has been so freaking weird. I knew I should have stayed home. What was that? Stacy? 
Veronica? Was that you? Where's the bathroom? Oh, here it is. Ugh, finally. Stacy! Don't try and scare me now! I have fast reflexes! I will knock a bitch out! Ah! Who was that? Damn it! Stacy! Veronica! Who's there? Am I locked out? Open up! Siri, call Stacy! Shoot! Stacy! Whoa! What was that? Siri, call 911! 911, what's your emergency? How may I help you? Hello? Please help me! I locked myself in my friend's bathroom and she's not answering her phone! I can't get out! Is this an emergency? Yes, it's an emergency! May I have your address, please? Hello? Ma'am? Are you still there? Yes. I think someone's in here. Something supernatural is happening. You're coming with me.